Good afternoon, viewers, and welcome back to uh, this third session of the second day of uh, the World Championships here at uh, uh, Broad Beach Bowls Club. We have a uh, sixth uh, round men's triples game uh, um, to bring you this afternoon uh, between uh, Wales and Scotland. And with me in commentary uh, to start off, we uh, welcome uh, Nick Cahill. How are you, Timbo? Um, really good, mate. Really good. Good to see you. Good to be on board, mate. That's the way. Yeah. Going to okay. be an uh, interesting game here. Yeah, well, uh, we've got some uh, top-class players from uh, from both countries. Uh, Owain uh, Dando, uh, Chris uh, Keyfids, and Ross Owen, um, uh, representing Wales. Um, they would be playing with the uh, Red Bulls. And Paul Foster, MBE, Derek Oliver, and Alex Marshall, MBE, who will uh, be the skip. And uh, they'll be playing with uh, the Blue Bowls today. Some of the best names in the sport right there. Alex and Paul, obviously veterans of the game. Played plenty of international games for for Scotland. And, uh, yeah, they'll, uh, they're they going to be hard to beat the, uh, the Scottish, Scottish team. But, um, yeah, the Welsh boys are a pretty good outfit too. Well, the... Uh, both, uh, both Paul and Alex are uh, um, five times uh, uh, champions of, uh, of the world in, in world indoor pairs. Um, they have uh, five Commonwealth Games gold medals. Probably nothing that they haven't done together. Alex is a seven-time uh, gold medalist at the, at the World Championships. Um, and uh, um, Paul is uh, uh, four times Commonwealth Games gold medal. So... Uh, I've just about between them scooped uh, everything that there is to uh, to win in uh, in uh, in bowls, and both of them have uh, uh, received uh, um, honours from the Queen at the MBE. Um, Alex from the Queen at Holroyd uh, back in 2007. So, been a force in uh, in the game for uh, a very long time. There you go. Just interestingly, too, it's a top of the table clash for these two. Um, Scottish boys are on top. They've uh, had four wins and a draw at, uh, at the moment, and the uh, the Welsh boys have had three wins, a draw, and a loss. So it'll be uh, whoever whoever wins this game. Well, if the Welsh boys win, they can potentially take top of the table, but uh, the Scottish boys will want to increase their lead in this section. Uh, well, it'll be a consolidation a, if they can uh, get over yeah, the line. Yeah, just about guarantee a final spot. Well, uh We've uh, we've got a little bit of cloud uh, coming at the at the moment, but uh, it uh, appears to be a bit to, to the south of us. So uh, pretty confident that uh, uh, 18 ends of, of triples, and these boys will be pretty quick. I'm tipping that they'll be finished well before um, the time uh, time bell rings. Can't believe this. It's dropped down to 24 degrees for winter. <laughs> I can't believe that here on the Gold Coast. Oh, well, as I said to you this morning, we're sitting here. It was 30 plus here this morning, and uh, nine o'clock inside the inside the tent. I'm going to Thailand uh, at uh, next Saturday. Actually, heading over there for a little uh, little getaway, a little holiday, a re little relax, and uh, recharge the batteries. And well, you pulled that not long ago over to uh, Singapore. Singapore was my for last, uh, last trip. But yes, Thailand next week, and that's going to be 30s and plenty of humidity all week. Well, uh, stick uh, stick some uh, cream on and make sure you don't burn yourself. Okay, here we go. We're underway with the first end, and Wales are uh, uh, going to lead us off. Uh, Owen to play first, and uh, he's uh, coming down on his backhand. Personally, I think traditionally he's picked the right side of the green here. Being a local, um, the the our forehand side for the right-handed players, but obviously it's his left hand, uh, it's his backhand. That side of the green it tends to be the kind of side on this green, and particularly this rink too. Paul switching for the other hand actually. Well, you'd have uh, you'd have had plenty of goes on uh, on this green, uh, Nick. Plenty of games, particularly on this rink too. I've actually had a lot of games down this end of the green. Well, this is usually where the uh, Bowls Australia have streamed from, and when they've done coverages of uh, of events, and uh, this is where we're uh, occupying for the three days that we're here. 
Yeah, all the greens here at Broad Beach at the moment running beautiful. We've had a little bit of rainfall in the last uh, 48 hours or so, but greens are still running immaculate. Still, uh, some of the best services around. Well, they looked uh, they looked superb this morning, and I know that uh, yesterday that you yeah, actually I think we got forced off here for about an hour or so. But uh, they uh, they got back on. The, the players were, uh, were were quite happy that uh, the, the green was still running very well. There's a little bit of a gust uh, hanging around at Broad Beach here this afternoon. Bit of a swirly wind, so. Um, Obviously, we've got some of the best players in the world here, so don't be surprised if there are a couple of uh, wayward bowls just getting caught by wind and getting held out on lines. Chris just finding a high line there and slightly quick, but it's not in a bad spot. It certainly uh, gives uh, the viewers uh, some confidence when they see some of the, the players of this quality uh, struggling a bit in, uh, in conditions. Yeah, the worst thing you can do playing in conditions like this is trying to battle the conditions. You've you just got to try and play the line that you think's right, and and if Mother Nature decides otherwise, it, you know you've you've been unfortunate. So. Oh, well, you can't afford you can't afford to stress out, and you're right. That's exactly what it is. It's uh, you know uh, trust your judgment, pick your line, and uh, let uh, let nature take the do the rest. Saying that, you've, it it also allows you to be tactically smart. You know, if, if one hands always holding out with the wind and you can't find the line there, then why continue to play that hand? You know, you're better to switch to the other hand. Um, so you've got to play smart in these conditions as well. You've got to, you've got to make sure that you're adaptable, but um, also ready to, to change it up when you need to. Hello, so uh, Derek is uh, just going to come into the head. We're just going to slide past that uh, uh, back uh, Welsh bowl. It's a good shot. Splits three of the red bowls up. I do like the idea of the red and blue bowls, as much as it's uh, been hard for a few of the countries to to get together all of the bowls for the tournament. I think it's a great idea. It makes it easy for the viewers to be able to tell. Oh, you spend time in the in the booths doing this, Nick. You've you've, you've come out and, and do a fours game and find that you've got opposite opposite teams with the same colour bowls. You uh, you're really guessing it's who's got what where the, <laughs> and this is just so much easier my favorite was always when you had red and blue stickers and the person with the blue bowls would have the red stickers and the person with the red bowls would have the blue stickers didn't make much sense did it yeah it's not the brightest of ideas looks like two to scotland here um still plenty of room to draw the shot alex will probably be down on his backhand here You got that right. That's what exactly what he's up to. It's a pretty good line here. It's uh, now just all down to his weight. Doesn't look too bad to that. Looks like it could be counting. Mm. Not quite. Uh, Ross is going to be looking to to find another meter or so on uh, on his last. There is a open draw here. If he can, uh, he's just coming into view now. This hand will swing late. The boys are uh, running it in. It's uh, it looks pretty good there. Yeah, it looks as though he has got back to count. He played beautiful weight then. Just had to allow plenty of grass for the line to to do its natural thing and bend back. Alex potentially might look for the bowl here. Uh, if he does get the inside edge, he could get the back red bowl out too and potentially make a fair few. Could even make a handful. Now from that angle, it definitely looks like the, the Welsh bowl is the, is the shot. I think we'll see fairly firm weight here. Take the wind out of the equation. He's going for it. Yes. He's got the, got the front bowl here. Oof. Well, that hasn't made too much effect to the head. It's going to be... One to Wales to start. Well, looks like they've uh, taken the mat pretty much back onto uh, onto the tee. And... Uh,
going to be pretty much full length here if he uh, manages to stop the kitty, which he uh, looks like he will. I think the uh, I saw out my uh, the window in reception today. I saw the Scottish boys playing shorter lengths. They're playing uh, Matt Back and Jack right up on the 23 metre mark. Obviously, we're playing 23 metres being an international event. Yeah. Um, so I think when they do win the mat, I think that's what we might see. It's been a tactic that's worked for them. So fairly good start here from well, uh, Dwayne. Wales obviously might have done a bit of uh, bit of homework to uh, scout that out and uh, find a length that uh, suits them. Uh, it's a very good start from uh, Owain. Uh, Paul's got a, a good line here, but uh, probably just uh, a metre or so to come. So are you solo travelling overseas? I am. I love solo travelling. That's that's one of my favourite things to do. I I like going by myself because you get to make your own itinerary and do whatever you want. Yeah. You get to plan your own trip. Well, I've done a I've done a lot on my own in in travel, and uh, the the idea of pleasing yourself where you go, when you go, how long you stay, uh, yeah, and not sure. uh, not have to uh, depend on someone else to want to do what you're doing. Yeah, that's right. You get to uh, you get to pick and choose what you want to do and uh, live by your own rules, I guess. That's a good home there from uh, from Paul. I think we'll see uh, fairly aggressive game overall, um, just with the conditions at the moment. If they do ease up, we might see some more of the touch shots, but I won't be surprised to sort of see Scotland attacking a, a few heads here. The Wales have uh, got the, the Bacchus one there now. So, um, and, uh, Derek is uh, just going to change sides. Coming down on the, on the forehand. Starting to, starting to swing a bit now. Uh, just not going to get underneath. Really want this one to count here. Put a bit of pressure on Scotland. Well, he's not going to be far away. Uh, he's so played that well. Pretty good bowl there. It's a good looking uh, weight this time from uh, from Derek. It just going to be a little too run. Don't mind that. He's had a bit of a look there. Just to to see how the hand reacts with a bit of weight. He's obviously looking to land the bowl, possibly land the two bowls, or get the jack right through. But a good position here for Wales. Ross Owen, very experienced in his own right. He'll be wanting to make this one count if he can. Might even play the forehand, possibly, and try and touch the jack away himself, take the shot away from Alex. Looks like he's opting for the backhand, though, just to make it count. Well, he's well pointed. If he's uh, if he's got the weight. It's a big gust up here. He just doesn't want to catch this wrong now. Uh, he's played well, it really, really well. That's another one to uh, to the count. Couple options for Taddy here. I think he might just try and draw the shot either hand. Right. I think he's uh, licked it on the backhand. Out on a decent arc here. Yep. Yeah. It's down to his legs and I think he's just going to peter out a bit here. He's just been under the head there. Lots of wind. Perfect way. Great speed. So it's a big shot here from Ross. If he can make this count. This could be a good start for Wales. Just 
Phillips needs to run the last part of the journey here, which he's going to. Yes. Uh, well played. Changes the whole head now. Four down here. Scotland need a big one from Alex Marshall. And he's the man who can produce it. He's on a, on a wider track here. And... Uh this is running to running to the jack. This is not a bad effort. That's going to slice just, a few out. Just pulled up a couple of inches short there from the shot, actually. It's potentially still two or three down. It's at least two. Taking the front and back one. Yep. Just looking from our uh, tent over here. It looks like it could be three from that side angle that Robbie's got up there. Not quite. It's another two to Wales. 3-0 lead, good start. Okay, so they got uh, they got two there, did they? Yeah, they did. Oh, uh, off to a quick start. Well, unfortunately, that's all I've got time for, Timbo. So, yeah, thanks very much, uh, no Nick, worries. and have a great uh, trip and good luck on your on the weekend for your bowls and uh, all your future endeavours. I know you've got quite a bit coming up, so uh, play well, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Okay, Owen's uh, first one is a little bit runny. I think it's uh, going to find uh, find the sand. Over to uh, over to Paul now. It's a pretty good start here. A better weight, I think, from uh, Owen this time. And that's a, a pretty good correction. Yeah, very good bowl there. Afternoon, Roy Campbell. Okay, Paul, looking just to cut his grass line down a bit. I think it's going to hold out there, though, Tim. Yep. So it's just the one there to Wales, for looks of it. Yep. Uh, Chris is coming down on the, on the same hand. It's, uh, They're really swooping in here, mate. I was just standing behind the rink watching a bit of it, um, Tim, and that forehand playing away is uh, coming back a mile. Now, Nick was saying that, uh, that uh, in these sort of conditions that uh, that's the hand that's, uh, that's favoured. Mm, yeah, it would be too. He's just going to pull up a bit short with this one here. He had a great line once again. Just a uh, bit of, bit of um, well, shadow coming across the green always does here late afternoon on this on this green here. And um, he quite realistically, you just got to give it that little push because you're really playing back into the wind too, aren't you? It's right yep. in your face. The other thing too, I, uh, when I was set out uh, the last game here, I actually watched the little bit of Scotland uh, yes. playing on the, on the other rink there and uh, their tactic was uh, basically uh, Matt right back and uh, and playing short ends um, and uh, the tactic that uh, that Wales have had since they've uh, got the mat they've uh, they've gone long and, oh, okay uh, yes I think Ooh. that's uh, where they're uh, they they're feeling more comfortable in the, with the longer lengths and the the Scots at this uh, early <laughs> stage are just uh, trying to uh, adjust. Yeah. 
Well, again, as I said, it's uh, I'm not too sure where Scotland played their last game. I know their first game here they had on playing East West on this green this morning, but it is entirely different green to play on North South though. Um, they were on uh, Green 3 uh, were they? The, with their uh, second game okay. this morning. OK, well, see, this is their first time they've been up here and it'll be entirely different till this morning because late afternoon on this green here, the uh, trees, the shadows start creeping in and... Um, Changes the pace quite... Uh, and, it, and it does too. It is uh, very... Um, yeah, no, thanks for that, um, Robbie, putting that up. I tell you what, Alex, though, he's just not going to sneak around this front bowl. Has to keep running. Not quite there. Yes, it's on Gold Coast Tweed District YouTube for the followers out there that want to watch it on uh, YouTube. Again, Ross has got a pretty good bowl here. He's just going to clear... This blue bowl and uh, yeah. add to add to the count. He played that very well too, didn't he? Yes, Another so. one in the count there, uh, Tim. That's for sure. What do you think? It's probably well, Alex is uh, just going to try and draw through that hole there with uh, yep. those two red bowls, and uh, he's certainly given it uh, the good air. Whether enough, uh, he's got enough to get all the way back. And I don't think he has. It's, uh, Looks like two, I'd say. A couple of down there. Yeah, I'd say two by looks of that. G'day, Fee. How are you this afternoon? Fiona Hall. Hope you're taking it nice and easy and letting those nurses run around after you. G'day, Huey. I think she's uh, she's been uh, on, on board most of the day. Yes, well, she's in hospital, so, <laughs> so I hope she's sitting back enjoying watching. I think, she was, I think she was our first comment this morning on the stream. <laughs> Good on you, Fee. We're all thinking of you, mate. You know that. So uh, another two uh, to the to the score for Wales. And uh, persisting here with the uh, the long uh, long ends. No one's. Uh, Coming out on the on the forehand side. Is he going to get here all the way? Yeah, it's not going to be too far away. It's just going to pull up just a tad short there, mate. Yeah, about a metre, metre and a half. Mm. And Paul's going to follow him down. He's got out there uh, quite wide with uh, with that one and. Only just going to get back on, I think. Yes. Finished, uh, finished Jack High. Mm. Yeah, Paul is uh, shaking his head. It's a uh, totally different green to play on. Right, Owen. He's, He's going to uh, get around his. Yep. Weight was good there, uh, mate. <laughs> hey, good on you, Fiona. <laughs> the nurses are learning a lot about bowls. <laughs> good on you, Fee. Great bowl here by Paul. Yep. yep. Shot and in behind. Alex would be pretty happy with that one. Yep. Two feet behind. Yep. You can see the in the background there the, the shades... You know, blowing up in the wind and the yep. branches, so there is uh, a bit of breeze even down on the on the on the green level. We've yep. got the flag right next to us, and it's got uh, plenty of air blowing through it. Mm. Yeah, it is too, Tim. It's very open, isn't it? Beautiful running green, though, still, even with the shadows and that, and the cooler conditions. So we've got Derek just running through the head there. It's come to a handy location. Yeah, well, Chris's uh, first bowl was uh, was very good. Uh, managed to uh, sit out that uh, shot of uh, of Paul's. He's not here uh, this time, though. Uh, left something behind.
Alex is uh, yep. asking uh, Derek to be a bit more direct. Yep. Play with a, a bit of weight. It's too He's wide. Just got out uh, a bit on the wide side there. Yeah. G'day, Damien. How are you, mate? How's that little bloke of yours coming along, my friend? One thing is that uh, a lot of the Northern Hemisphere clubs, uh, they don't like wind. I don't think they're used to playing in conditions like this. Uh, well, they don't have a very long outdoor season, season, do they? No. Alex asked uh, Derek to play a bit more uh, forcefully down here. We'll see whether or not he's going to uh, try and play uh, the same type of shot. A bit of cloud is probably showing you up there, starting to appear on the horizon. All right, Alex. Well, well, I think he got a little bit lucky there. <laughs> yeah. But well, uh, when you've yeah. got good weight, uh, good things can happen to you. Yes, that's ever true, it's true, mate. That was very controlled weight that he that he played there. Yep. Well, Ross has got a bit of a false start there. And just goes back to uh, reset. G'day, Graham. Christine and Scotty. And yeah, Scotty. Yeah, it's a lucky result there by Alex. He played it with good weight. I'll tell you what, geez, Ross is not going to be far away from this. Look at that. Oh, oh. <laughs> just got the edge of the bar. The little feather just takes it another metre Please, away. Yes. Yeah, Alex's going to come down and have a look. Bit of danger there now, really, uh, Tim. Yes, well, the a little trail though is worth a few for him, mate. It's probably worth four or five to him if he can get it out to the right hand side down near with the Australian Gold Coast. Sign is there. Yeah, he's going to have to draw around that front bowl on the yeah. on the left there. Yeah. And you're right, if he can uh, just get a touch of the jack, um, they're all uh, all the blue ones are uh, out on that side. Mm. Uh, I think the uh, I think the other red actually was on the bank. It is on yes. the bank. Yes, it is, mate. Yep. So uh, any touch of that jack out there could uh, make a bring a few into play. It does. I don't think Alex is going to die wondering. Yeah, playing with weight now. He doesn't want to slice it. Well, he got it out there. Well, he'd want to stay in bounds, although he may have the two covered if it's got out. It did. And he did. One. Well, they've uh, opened, opened. The, opened their score. Yep. Uh, it'll be uh, interesting to see uh, where... Uh, how far up Paul elects to... Uh, well, it's going to be interesting to see what length they throw, uh, Tim, isn't it? That looks uh, to me a little bit like what they were doing uh, earlier on. And uh, he's going to get to the front of that line. And uh, oh, it's uh, uh, pretty close to... Uh, no, as... 23 metre mark. As I said before, Luke, uh, there's been a disclaimer put out by Alex Marshall that he's not related... Anyway, shape or form to Brian Marshall, mate. Uh, said that in the previous one, mate, when I said we're doing this game. Uh, just Paul, just struggling a little bit uh, with the conditions at the moment. Well, he's certainly got the, the line there, uh, yeah. uh, Brian. It's just, uh, just a little bit runny, but given that uh, the first three ends have been basically ditch to ditch. Yep. So, uh, I'll just take him one or so to yep. get that feel. 
Uh, nice uh, correction here. No such problem for uh, for Owen. She's uh, yeah, Owen. Uh, about a metre past. Paul's just uh, given this uh, plenty of air again. Yep, won't come back from there, mate. Had good weight on that one too, really, Timber. There you go, Nigo. Okay. Chris, waiting for this to start coming back now, working its way back into the head. Good afternoon, Luke. Hannes and, uh, and Mike Shingles. Alex is a little trimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Mike. Mate. I'm a finely tuned athlete, mate. Play competitive sport, the art of lawn bowls, my friend. Yeah, good line, uh, good line coming in here, Derek. Played this He's going to get well. all of the all of the way. He has. So just run on a bit and now fallen down. So uh, probably the second shot. Chris is not far away either here. Another one in the in the head. Just slides oh, on behind. Just if he got that in the belly, it would have been ideal. So he probably would have had two, and it would have put that probably just in behind the kitty there, uh, Timmy. Well, it's finished in a finished in a good spot there. So uh, sitting in the in the airport lounge, waiting for uh, some attention. Yep. That's a good again, ball. it's uh, just got that one little roll again over to yes. fall down. Yes. Margins are very, very small. This one's probably going to duck under as well. Is and he going to sit the Maybe sit this. Well, turned it back up. He may have not. Oh, well, don't know. It's hard to say with the. Pretty hard to tell. One red. Uh, that'd be my uh, yep. that'd be my go. Yeah, be in for a flat lying bowl also too. Yep. Gives you more of a more of a view that way, doesn't mm. it? Yes, it does. Now yeah, Alex looking just for the dead draw. Move the kitty a couple of inches. Well, he's uh, got plenty of air. Yep. Uh, I think he's staying out there with uh, with Paul. Well, his grass line's pretty well spot on. Oh, look at that, right back to the centre line. Centre line, that's about where he wants to trail the kitty to, too, to be, you know. This one's uh, not going to uh, trouble the scoreboard at, the, at this stage. No. Right, Alex, can he just trail that kitty a couple of feet? Sure, he wants to uh, to move the jack too far back towards those uh, those red bowls. I think he's going to go the bowl, mate. He's, uh, or the kitty back left hand side. Going to play the other the other hand. Mm. That's what he's doing, I think, looking for uh, the bowl or the kitty. He's got the I bowl. I think he's uh, right smack in the bum. Great bowl, Alex Marshall. Uh, he's got a. Got a couple there. Got a couple there now, and the pressure goes straight back onto Ross. Ross Owen. Yeah. G'day, Kelvin. Hey, mate, you and Karen having a great trip, buddy. Keep enjoying, mate. Alan yeah. Vidler and uh, Mike Watts, welcome to uh, the stream. Four ends in. Wales a 5 1 in front. Uh, Scotland are holding two, and uh, you know, bang bang played uh, 
aggressively to try and move the both of them. Well, he had the opportunity. Had the opportunity there to get both of them, didn't he? Yep. Uh, uh, just uh, the one. Got one out. So uh, one good ball, to, good ball by to, Alex. So one more to Scotland. Yep. And looks like they're going to really shorten it up now. They're going to try something, which is well. That was what they did with the with the yep. last one. They were yep. the, the same tactic that they got to the to the start of the line with the mat right back on the on the uh, on the tee. And if uh, you look at, across at the thing there, you'll see that uh, probably about 20, 28 metres looking across at the para signs on the other yeah, side there. Yeah, they come in handy for that too, don't they? They do. Uh, you know, you're sitting down yeah. there thinking, is it 23 metres? Is that long yeah. enough? And uh, you look up and you see that 28, well, uh, yeah. uh, in with uh, with some despair. Well, a good start here by Paul. You're going to sit in behind. Just pretty handy. Though. Conditions here are very, very try trying, mainly because it's uh, the wind's a little bit inconsistent when it's blowing us. It's not uh, not consistent um, where the players can feel comfortable because it's actually coming in gusts. And to make matters worse, coming this way, it's right behind them and playing the other way. Of course, it's right in their face. So it's... Uh, yeah, you get into this, uh, you know, second-guessing yourself. Uh, yes, yes. In, uh, as Nick was saying before, you've just got to, uh, you know, back yourself that you've, you've picked the right line. That's and it. Uh, that uh, Mother Nature will be kind well, to you. Well, Paul's just going to sneak in here, sneak in under that. So that's a good bowl by Paul Foster. Yeah, that's uh, two good bowls to uh, to start. He's uh, found uh, found that uh, distance. Uh, yep. To his liking there. So oh, and looks as though it could be just a little bit wide with this one though. So it starts working its way back into the head, but I don't think he's going to get back in time. Well, I think he's going to end up round the back. Back, yeah. Uh, good coverage. Uh, these boys have already shown that uh, they're going to be aggressive. And, uh, that's, uh, it's not a bad ball Good looking here. dart here from Derek. It's uh, just got to run it out, which uh, I think he has. Yeah. He's pretty much got nearly all the way there. Yeah, it was a good pile there. Yeah, I, won't be, uh, I won't be surprised to see uh, a pretty aggressive looking shot here. Yeah. Um, uh, movement uh, of the jack will be good because the uh, whales are holding the, the backers bowl. Yeah, good call by Alex. I didn't take the big fella long to uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. work out what he wanted, wanted there. there yes. I'll have this covered before you get to play your shot. Yep. Good morning, Mary. How are you? One of our regulars on from Five Things Scotland. Alex is pretty happy with this one. Well, I'll say he should be. It's uh, right back here exactly where he wanted. And he's got the tee covered there too, though, um, Tim. So that's, uh, that's another positive. Yeah, so that actually cuts down the amount of weight that Wales can now play to the head. Yeah, I think uh, Ross was looking for a, a little bit more weight there, but... Uh, Just kept running, didn't it? It did. Even yeah. though, as I said, even though the uh, the shadows across the green now and it is cooling down, the green's still running on though, Tim, isn't it? It is. No, we're down to twenty three degrees. Twenty three. So we've dropped about seven degrees since uh, we started, started this morning. This morning, yes, for sure. So we're taking jackets off this morning, and we're now looking at putting them back. I've got my jacket on, mate. I put it on before I come back in the commentary. Okay, Alex, watching this one, starts working his way into the head. Has he got the run on it? He just, just needs to be underneath this uh, Welsh bowl out here on the wing. I just don't think he's going to get there. Oh, he's not happy with that. He's got his head in the air. There's quite a few on from Scotland, that's for sure. Good to have all our viewers on. G'day, Tyler. G'day, this, uh, this is a more direct line here. Yep. There's, some, uh, there's some merit on this bowl. He's got it. Just how far he's going to move the, the jack, and what a great shot. So it looks uh, to Scotland may uh, still have one there. A bit deceptive on the other side, but I think I saw Paul's uh, hand go up to, to suggest that uh, Scotland had the, the shot. Derek's uh, had a look, and you now he's got the finger pointing down, so...
It's uh, interesting. <laughs> no, Barbara, I haven't met her yet, but hopefully to meet her in the next couple of days, Barb. It's, uh, this bowl's coming home. It's, uh, it's not far away. Oh, just going to sneak around the back. Great try there by Alex, though. Now they're all having a look around. I think uh, Ross sort of indicated that he thinks it's uh, it's theirs for Wales. Yep. They got all three in, and G'day. Ross is asking his teammates, "Do you think we've got it?" Well, all he's got to do is really he's got to play under that bowl. Any movement of the kid, he's going to come back to these back two. Yep. Or he's wide, he'll probably get the split on those two blue. Yeah, there's uh, quite a number of. Uh, uh, Pluses out for uh, for him playing the arm on that hand. That hand, yep. There's uh, not too many uh, things that look like they could go wrong. Yeah. With, uh, <laughs> with especially <laughs> with the weight that he's going to play. Famous last words for those ones, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, he's in the he's in the region. <laughs> uh, well, going to take out. Uh, any uh, concern about uh, who had shot? Yes, very good bowl there, wasn't it? G'day, Kerry. Thanks for that. Storm's brewing Lockyer Valley. Thanks, mate. Yeah, well, one third of the way through this uh, this fixture. Yep. Six ends in, and uh, Wiles uh, have a six-two lead. Yes. And they've. Uh, They've taken the mat up a little bit here. Uh, well, they're going to put it back towards the tee, though, Tim. So, yep. It's good uh, roll. We're going to be far wrong there, Brian. Yep. Pretty much back to the uh, tee. Yeah. I don't think he's uh, done anything else but just move it straight across. So. I think you just give it a plug, Damien. It's not a problem in the world, mate. <laughs> good on you. Hello, Kerry Green. Oh, that was Kerry's weather report. It was. <laughs> Certainly was. A great starter here from Owen. Uh, that's the that's the start you, you want in this uh, two-ball yeah. triple game. It's uh, probably one of the most volatile of the disciplines because it can get away from you uh, pretty quickly. Paul's uh, got the line that uh, needs a bit just more looking, uh, for about another metre or so, I'd yep. suggest. Yep. Okay, how good's the memory on Owen? Oh, he's in a good path. And he's got good weight. He's going to be all the way to the jack here. Yeah, it's a great ball. That's uh, two good lead balls. Absolutely. I think the skipper will be really happy giving him a, a five as he uh, yep. as he uh, passes up later. Okay, so uh, Paul is uh, just going to slide around. Oh no, he's uh, good ball. Managed to push it down, and uh, mm. indications are that uh, the blue ball is now shot. Shot, yeah, very good ball there by Paul. Good on your uh, Brenda Palmer from Scotland. Yeah, we'll definitely hope to catch up with Sarah, um, Barbara. Name well, Martin. This Margaret bowl's Vicky. got some merit as well. Not far away. Got the bowl. Change the whistle. again. Three shots. Yeah, like, that's good bowling, mate. Very good bowling. Okay, Derek needs one in there. Oh, he's uh, he's on the on the line, but I just yes, think he's. Light. Missing some weight here. Going to get a feather up, but uh, not much of a not much of a movement. Wales look like they're holding three there. G'day, Trish Spicer. How are you, Trish? Ah, Joshua. Payday, mate. Using all capital letters. Good to hear, mate. Yeah. See him lash out about time he started spending some of his money, young Joshua. Paid on Wednesday, broke by Friday. <laughs> no, no, <so. laughs> uh, Remember when we were young blokes? <laughs> yes. Get to the weekend and you didn't have a didn't have a bob to your name. 
You had a good time getting there, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mate. Well, that's a pretty know, handy bowl there. Gone, uh, gone right round the back. Yep, that's a so very handy bowl. Sort of limits the uh, the options available here now. Uh, playing control weight, but uh, I just think he needed a little more weight to, uh, yeah. to get that line that he needed. See, what probably changed there, though, quite realistically, you know, um, Tim, was that last bowl of Chris's where it's... Um, Went right back into the um, the best backward. Yeah, it certainly you know took away one of the the options that was there because yep. uh, Scotland did have the best back until then. So uh, they definitely did. Certainly is a game of uh, a game of tactics and uh, at two very fine exponents. Uh, Leading their respective teams. Oh, absolutely. Like, I mean, uh, Ross Owen, a very experienced skipper and a very accomplished player too. And Alex Marshall, what can one say about Alex that no one's, you know... That does not that know we don't already know. About <laughs> bowls, you know, he's uh, one of the world's finest. I'll tell you what, and Ross has played this very well. He's not going to be too far away. Yeah, I go close to, uh, to counting again, I think. Well, I think the only thing Alex has got is forehand um, up through those two. Uh, even if he opens it up with his first to give himself a, a bit of a track to get in there. So uh, really is the advantage, really is coming up from the up front uh, Welsh pairing there. Uh. Yes. That's and, of course, Ross is just finishing it off uh, from what he has to do. So it's uh, quite an accomplished display here by the uh, by the Welsh. So uh, Alex has uh, played... Uh with some aggressive weight, it's a, a push a, one of them well, he's out. Well, pushed one out, yes. And uh, off the off the track. Mm. But uh, you can see how that swung across there. I mean, he, he played fairly solid weight. Yep. But, uh, it took off halfway uh, halfway up. Uh, the, Ross can uh, drop he's another... He's put it back again by the looks of it now. Drop, drop another one in here. But... Uh, is certainly going to uh, make things difficult. Well, he, he has. has, and that's that's really locked that in now too, hasn't it? I mean, Alice has to go quick weight now. He can't play uh, just just through the head. He's got to play quick weight. More aggressive line. Very very close. He's got it clean as a whistle. He's got the jack. Yep. Great. Out it goes, and it's going to oh. probably go back on uh, onto the thing and still be three. Uh, what a look at that. Yep. Stayed uh, in three shots to blue. It was uh, I always going to be the the issue there that yep. uh, that back pole that uh, that, uh, that Wales managed to put in. Uh, he played the more aggressive weight there though, Tim, didn't he? Well, I think he had to. He had to get uh, some mm. sort of disturbance into that head and hope yep. that he could uh, move some of those bowls that were in the head away and. Uh, he well, got uh, he got uh, he got a couple uh, there, but uh, they were still. Well, that actually puts them back in the game now too, doesn't it? You know what I mean? It really gives the uh, fights on. Okay, Paul, his bowl starts working into the head. He's not going to be too far away. That's a good first up bowl. Good start. That's what you want when you've uh, you've got a result and you. Uh, Want to keep the, the pressure uh, applied. Yep. What they'll be looking to do is to string a few uh, a few wins together and uh, you know, build on their build on their confidence, and get a bit of a run running. What a lovely reply though too. Just going to pull up just a bit wide, but great starter there from uh, Owen. Okay, Paul, if his customer steps off the mat at point of delivery. Very much a uh, northern hemisphere delivery, that, but very well, well he's, made. Uh, he's Definitely right gets at the, the jack. results. Another great bowl by Paul. Well, two very good bowls. Yep. Makes a difference when you're starting off like this. Uh, you know, the uh, Derek's going to be <laughs> able to uh, to get on the mat regardless of what happens yeah, with this bowl. Um, not feeling the. 
the pressure of being uh, a couple down. Just shooting across the head with that one there, um, Owen. Yeah, Jeff definitely learned something from this game, mate, in my opinion. G'day, Sean Keepy. Yeah, none of them wear hats, that's for sure, Mark. Tell you what, played this one not too bad neither. Um. Well, it's uh, it's certainly going to uh, be in the count there. Probably uh, just a metre or so uh, to come. Yep. There's still uh, plenty of room there for uh, for Chris to get in. Yep. And... Uh, Take yeah. the grass out here, Tim. You definitely get the results. Yeah, well, it, it, it's now just down to the to the weight because mm. uh, he was on a really good track. He's pushing hard. Uh, probably, uh, probably still one to uh, one to Scotland. Yeah, good call there by Alex. Got a few options on this hand. Well, he can draw around that front yep. one or get a run into it. Yeah, just mm. pushing that forward a bit, you're, uh, you're going to go close to being in the count. Oh, it was great weight. Mm. But, uh, Scotland do have all of the all of the back. This one's got some uh, some merit in, and I think got the legs to get past the the front pole. It has, and it fell over. Down. So uh, yes, it's a great shot. Uh, one to uh, one to Wales. Nick Alex just going to have full draw, probably Kitty or the bowl would be my pick. I don't think there's too much wrong with uh, with that suggestion. Mm. Going to give it the uh, the chance. First off, he has to give it a chance. He has to just reach it there. So uh, but he's got a couple of options there. Said so he'd rather take the uh, sit the bowl out of the head for three, or trail the kitty for a possible two. Well, he's on a on a pretty good track. It looks like he's uh, he's got. Uh, pretty good weight as well. This is getting better and better. Wow, what a great shot. Oh, What so. a fantastic bowl by Alex. It just fell out, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but gee, well, the boys, that was, uh, boys have given him the five. That was a great bowl. It's an interesting view from, uh, from that side. Yes. It, uh, yes. Quite possibly uh, it, uh, the blue bowl. Well, it could be bollocks of that, doesn't it? Yeah, Favour that to be just inside the red, but uh, anyway, there's still too many bowls to come to worry about that at this stage. So, uh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> Depends what angle you're looking at it at. It is. But, uh, Ross is... Uh, if I write this, should be too wide. Well, it's, it's starting to do its best work now. It's well, going it to uh, turn in under this. Look at this for a bowl. Gee, was I said it was too wide. My God, look at that. He's just made... Well, uh, if it wasn't uh, one for Wales, I think it uh, mm. it is now. A great bowl there by Ross Owen. That was a really good skips bowl. Sensational bowl there by, uh, by Ross. Well, uh... Uh, Alex is going to be looking for some sort of disturbance in uh, in the head here. Whether it uh, going to play aggressive weight or just try to draw up here? Uh, it looks. Don't think he's happy that he's picked the right line. He's not there anyway. Straightener. Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> The boys are trying to work out how they can uh, grow this count. I don't think Spoil's going to get back around those front ones to sit that back blue bowl, though, uh, Tim, with all due respect. Yeah. And quite realistic, if he plays under that front bowl with a little bit too much weight, 
I think they're going to declare it, mate. I think you're right. That was, yeah, I think uh, there's too much danger there to do anything else, mate. Oh, well, you uh, turn the scoreboard over, stop the momentum of the opposition, and uh, be happy to take one. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, Scotland are happy to. Mm. Uh, you going one down is uh, is always uh, a good result. Yes. Well, it's a good team that really knows when it's a good time to drop one and when to only just take one, isn't there? You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot could be learned from uh, from watching some of these very experienced players. Mm. Far too often in uh, at club uh, level, yep. you see uh, you know some very bad decisions. Their egos get the, the, be the better of Hold some them. of their, his abilities. Ross has uh, got the clap going. We'd good starter there from uh, Owain. Mm. Mm. Pressure's back on uh, on Paul to find uh, to find a response. Not, not too gonna, far away. Not going to be too far away. Just going to sneak around the back bollocks of that. Good enough home. Yep. That one's a little bit uh, wider this time. Yeah, he's just going to sneak he's around gonna, the back. Uh, get, uh, get around to, uh, right around yeah, to the probably, back here. Probably needed a couple more feet of weight on that to make it more effective. So Paul got the opportunity to um, to draw down through here. He's uh, looking like he's a bit runny again. He's going to lay this bowl across. Mm. Chris is uh, going to continue down this uh, this forehand side. Uh, Skip's indicating that it's a it's a bit runny. He might set this back bowl flat. Well, I think he has. Years. That's uh, made it look a lot better than mm. what the skip thought it was. Yep. So, uh, pretty important for Derek to uh, to get one in here, and uh, he's got a pretty good line. And Holding to the jack, and I think it has. But, uh, it will roll off a little bit. Ease the pain a little bit, mate, I tell you. Just needs a bit more grass for his next one. This mate was absolutely spot on. Thank you for those kind words, Justin. G'day, Baz. How are you, mate? A bit of a trail on here be very beneficial for the Wales team. Well, he's just going to draw another one. I think they don't have to put any chalk on it. Yep. Or we'll wrap the chalk that's already on it off. I think he's uh, got this right in the in Killed the heart. It's a uh, Gone off the, the deck, so I'll replace it on the, on the six foot mark. Be a shit out now between the two skips, mate. Uh, interesting to. Uh, G'day, Harold, watching from Cape Town in South Africa. Nick Twiney. G'day, Nick. Hope you're keeping well, buddy. G'day, Willow. How's Bribey Island, son? Yeah, definitely one blue there by the looks of that. So one to Scotland. But they've got plenty of room to draw another one there, Tim. Oh, yes. Okay, Ross trying to beat this blue bowl. He 
Has just it, not going to get there. Hasn't yeah. quite got the run. And a pretty good line. Hey, Nigel Lewis. I think the uh, Scottish boys think they've got the, the shot there. Yep. Raylene Barry says, come on, Scotland. Good on you. Uh, he's going to stick to his forehand, so he's just got to drop, I reckon, just in, just in front of this, um, just in front of this maroon pole. Look, he's, uh, he's just going to get around it. He plays with good weight. He's going to sneak around for another shot, like that one there. Fall, fall down. This is going to make a way. difference. Well, now it's fallen. It's definitely another shot there. Very good bowl there from Alex, wasn't it? That'll be just around that maroon bowl, the last bowl there of Ross's, which he had uh, a great line, but just needed just that little bit more weight. So, got a few options here, uh, Ross. He's going to have to go those two bowls, which I think he's going to do. That's what he's done, all right. He's very, very close to the both of them, too. Going to get... Get both out, but could be enough to give him shot there. That's a great bowl. Fantastic bowl there from uh, from Ross Ross Owen, the one or skip, good bow for him. Liz Bannister says, "Come on, Scotland!" A big bowl here from uh, from Alex. Again, he showed us uh, plenty of times throughout his career. He's uh, He's got a pretty good memory, this boy. Uh, these are the made for these occasions, Alex. He set this off on a no. on a on a good path, but uh, I just think it's going to duck under here. He wants to stay off his front one. He did. It looks like uh, one to uh, look like just the one. One to uh, one to Wales. Mm. Um, Peter, we do. Uh, Leeds have a, a turn each, uh, Peter. So then halfway through uh, after after nine ends, and uh, Wales have a uh, four shot uh, four shot lead. Yep. There uh, won't be any uh, problems with this uh, game uh, concluding before the the allotted time. Yep. They, uh, these fellas don't uh, don't dilly dally around. They're uh, uh, they're pretty quick on the get mat, on, mate. Uh, get on the mat pretty quickly. Mm. Very experienced players that uh, they don't need to take a, a long time. Mm. They understand what needs to be done and they just get on with it. Yeah, no, so Peter, as I said, mate, that uh, the league gets the opportunity to roll the kitty. If it goes in the ditch, it goes back. Then the opposing lead has the opportunity to roll the kitty. And if it goes in the ditch, then it's put on the tee. And the person that rolled it the first time has the opportunity of moving the mat anywhere they would like to uh, move it to. So uh, just roll the kitty once it goes in the drink. Well, it gives the other team an opportunity to display what length they want to play. You don't get the opportunity to roll the kitty all day, mate. One by each lead, then it goes on the tee. Great bowl here by Paul. Not going to be too far away. Very good first up bowl. Yeah, Wales playing very good here. Big hailstorm about to hit Kabucha. Thanks for that, Chris Piper. Um, Daniel, where do you buy the kits from? Uh, mate, there's a shop down here at Broadbeach. That's <laughs> about the only place, in my knowledge, where you can get them from. So it's advantage there to Paul Foster this time around with that uh, blue bowl. Now it's got the opportunity to apply a bit of pressure to uh, to Chris. Well, he's well out again. He should come back from there if he's got the weight. Oh, well, I think he's got the weight. I just want to uh, get to that uh, first bowl of his. He has, but uh, there is. Uh, uh, Target there to sit on. Mm.
Yeah, just a little bit wide this one here of um, of Derek's. Had to be just inside that. Great bowl here, got the giddy. Yep. Went very well here, uh, the Walsh. We've uh, got an answer to uh, everything that Scotland's putting up at the moment. I think uh, Alex is uh, looking to uh, get uh, Derek to play uh, pretty directly up here. He set this off on a on a good uh, a good path and uh, yeah thanks uh, thanks Todd as you uh, have a look at the screen there we've picked up on that the uh, spelling on one of the uh, the programs had the in, in, uh, as a as an I but uh, had a look at the master sheet and uh, we can see it was an L so our, our master of everything Robbie has uh, corrected that thanks for bringing that to our attention a hey, uh, Chris Jam Piper big hailstorm about the hilt Cobalcher area very soon well you can keep it up there if you don't mind we uh, could do without it down here thanks that's for sure mate. Is it uh, going to get all the way here? Don't want to promote the, the blue one. It's going to turn the blue down. But, uh, I think uh, I'll still have the shot. Ooh. Breaking up as it comes out of the mountain there. Uh, no, it's breaking uh, up. Pretty much... Uh, See this? I think the T... Maybe... Maybe Scotland's. It's uh, it'd be a close. We'll see what Alex decides. What happens quite regularly, the storms don't come over Tamarine Mountain, but it looks like that's what's happening at the moment. It, it is coming over Tamarine. It normally breaks up when it goes over the top of Tamarine, oh. and that's what's happening at the moment. All oh, right. So it looks like so there's one one red here. So Alex trying to set this shot bowl out of the head. That started to hold to the jack. Oh, found the gap. Pretty good effort there. There's not much as he's going to need to change to get a result there. And uh, Ross will be looking to, and you know, if he could get some contact here on uh, on the white, uh, he could. Uh, Make it a bit harder for Alex. Yep. He's uh, thrown it, uh, thrown it out, nice and wide. I think uh, he's just going to end up at the at the back of the the back of the rink. That's exactly. Which is, uh, a good uh, a good bowl there. Might uh, impact on uh, on the type of weight that uh, Alex was thinking of playing. Mm. Okay, Alex has been down. He's had a look. He knows what he's going to play. He really, if he goes, if he goes the the kitty now, he has to stick with it. Otherwise, he could drop a couple. Yeah. And if he just turns the the shot pole out of the head, he could uh, he could make two. Or, uh, is it going to get back? No. Oh. Hasn't got enough weight to promote uh, nah. the short bowl, so uh, it's another one on to the score for, for Wales. Uh, ten ends uh, gone, eight to go. Uh, Scoreline uh, nine to four in uh, favour of Wales.
Well, let's stretch it out a little bit. Uh, just about to uh, to the T, so they're yep. uh, about three metres short of the of the T with the with the mat, and uh, pretty much uh, a foot or so short at the other end. So uh, decent uh, decent length. Yeah, it's going to uh, sort them out. That's for sure. Well, uh, first, uh, first one from uh, from Owen has uh, found a home behind the behind the jack, and uh, Paul is uh, coming down on the on the same hand, and it's pretty much uh, looks like he's out on that same line, and uh, he's uh, he's not got back. But, uh, weight was fairly good. Owen is going to uh, persist out there on uh, on that backhand. Yep. Uh, he's got a, a narrower line this time. He can be uh, taking some of the weight off, but uh, it's uh, probably good enough for. Uh, Probably snuck in the back door for shot. Sure. Yeah, quite possibly. Uh, Paul has uh, got a much better bowl here with uh, with his second. Uh, this is uh, this is going to be the shot. Yep. Uh, good correction there by the big fella. Uh, Chris is uh, following the trend and. Staying on the backhand, he's uh, well pointed, but uh, I think he's just left uh, left some of the porridge uh, in the in the on the plate. Uh, Derek looks like uh, he's got uh, a better weight on his, and uh, he's coming all the way. Uh, Going to get the kitty all the way to the jack. It's just got to slide past, but uh, two shots. Two shots uh, to Scotland. Yep. The uh, is he just going to play the draw up here? Better weight on this bowl. Mm. Just got to clear that front one, and uh, he's going to get a bit of a walkie. It's not sure that that was far enough. I still favour the two blue at the back there, uh, Tim. Yeah, well, looking at that angle, I yeah. think you're pretty right, Brian. Well, Alex has got no hesitation to calling uh, Derek to persist and come up. He's just played a fairly good bowl on that hand. And that if he can draw under this bowl, he's going to have another good one, and he has. Played it very well. well. This is uh, ultimately the shot. Yep. So, uh, the, uh, the dilemma here is uh, whether uh, Ross wants to uh, turn around and play up on the, on the other side between uh, well, he's probably his, got a, uh, his two bowls. He's probably got an open draw there on the back end, though, Tim. That's what, that's what he's chosen to do. Yep. Nice little open draw on the back end. He's been pretty uh, pretty deadly when uh, he's been in these uh, circumstances uh, early in the game, and uh, is that was a, that was a great try. He may have eased the pain there, in actual fact. Well, I think when they turn around the other way, you you quite possibly are right, Brian. I think Alex just stick his forehand, look for that blue bowl. Any movement on that <coughs> should bring the kitty. Should just bring the kitty uh, back a bit. Uh, could make three out of it if it's played properly, and if anyone oh, can play that, properly, it'll definitely be Alex. <laughs> turn the uh, turn the, the red one over as well. He's just got to hold himself up past this, and I think he's just oh, sat it up on his leg, and uh, he's standing up as well. Yeah, he's not happy. I think it's pretty important that um, that Ross gets another one up there in the yep. head because um, 
There's only one red one in there, and uh, Alex would be pretty tempted to uh, rip it out. To rip it out. <laughs> yeah, it won't take much to rip it out, I think, too. Forehand. Uh, Scott has really got a score on this one. It's the 11th of 18 ends, but Ross has got something to say about that. Well, he has. And, uh, he's played the same bowl. He's just going to miss that uh, oh. that jack the same way. Tell you what, he was lucky to miss that. So I wouldn't be surprised if Alex goes chasing that red bowl now, though, Tim. It's there to be played. He's got a nice port out there, and he could make a very handy three out of it. Probably sit and stay for four. Yep, that's uh, that's a go. The only thing he doesn't want to do is get it on the outside of the bowl because he has got capabilities. He doesn't want to cut it across. That's right. He may go one down if he does that, but it would be a positive shot from Alex. Well, I think he's fairly well pointed. It's starting to uh, get better and better as we speak. And that's a brilliant bowl from uh, Alex Marshall. That's a brilliant bowl by Alex. I like it for... Uh, and have a bit of a look here. That's bright, brilliant bowl by Alex. Absolutely, just played with great weight. Tossing up there. I haven't seen any signal. But, uh, Four shots. That was the four. That play, that bowl also stayed in in the count. So it was a magnificent bowl there by Alex. Played it with such magnificent weight. Well, in the blink of an eye, uh, we're uh, got a scoreline now of uh, nine to Wales and uh, eight to Scotland. Uh, well, it's really put them back in the game, team, hasn't it? Yep. It's, uh, uh, don't blink. You might miss it. Never say so true, mate. But so Paul just going to pull up a tad short with this one. Well, it uh, really was an opportunity there to, to nail that and uh, you know, just keep the, the foot on the on the throat, so to mm. speak. Yep. Uh, Michael, not too sure on how they're going in the pairs, mate. Uh, they're not playing here, so I can't really help you, my friend. They've got four, four greens here, but uh, we're only... On the front green here at Broadbeach, we're on rink one, the very first rink. But I think the pairs, if I remember correctly, are at Helensvale. Ah, uh, that's a good start from uh, from Owen. Yeah, very uh, good ball. It's uh, it's over to uh, over to Paul, and uh, that looks like it's uh, wanting for a bit of uh, a right. bit of run as well. I've got the opportunity now, Owen, to uh, add a bit more insult and just uh, give another one in the head there. Yeah, uh, quick, uh, a quick answer back. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, I think he's uh, underdone. Underdone. Okay. Derek Oliver on the mat now. An open draw here on his backhand. Going to come round these front ones. Well, uh, he's certainly out uh, in a fair field. It's uh, how far back it's uh, it's going to swing in. He's going to find a home uh, a home behind. Probably won't go astray there. Chucky, how are you, mate? Come on, bud, you got to be out of money soon, mate. Yeah, back here and do some work. Yeah, good bowl here from Chris. That's uh, definitely another one. Uh, probably in the count. Yeah, play through it. I thought that would be the call. Well, he's hit it dead centre. And killed it. And I reckon they're going to be one down still. <laughs> I reckon that red bowl. 
that red bowl back on the um, just in behind the tee. Get a clear draw there. Game stand of the two skips now, mate. Good bowl there by uh, by Derek though. Yeah, played this very well too, just quietly, Chris. That's two. Comes down to um, to Alex now, really. That uh, probably draw on the backhand, I reckon. It's about all he's got. <laughs> Going your chucky home next week. I okay, go, buddy. So Alex, right. Definitely draw it on his backhand by looks of it. Yeah, got a pretty good line in it, it's following it. We'll know when it's halfway down whether it's going to be any good. Yeah, he played it very well. Very good ball there by Alex. Well done. Margaret, I don't know what club he plays for to be triff with her. Just Derek play for. Okay, Ross. Drawing to the T. He's going to be caught up in the things up front. Okay, Alex, can he add to it? Thank you very much for that, uh, Craig. Craig says, uh, Port Seton, I'm sure. Now, Alex, has he sent this? It's looking pretty good. It's still running. What a great bowl. Two very good bowls there by Alex Marshall. Played it very well. Okay, Ross, what's he looking at? Probably just dead drawing it. He's probably got around about, uh, well, just looking at it, probably around about two foot. He's been the man for the occasion so far in yep. this match, so uh, I don't put it past him to uh, draw the absolute here. I think he's going to be uh, caught up up front again, mate. Not quite there. So that'd be two to Scotland. Scotland, so new leaders. <laughs> Twelve ends in, they've uh, they've hit the front. Uh, Wales uh, nine and Scotland ten. Ten. They've uh, six ends uh, six ends left in this uh, round six match. Yep. Colossal game so far. Absolutely fantastic game. Yes, uh, certainly a to and fro uh, one side uh, gets uh, gets a little in front, the other fights back. And we've seen some good bowls uh, from uh, from all of the players, especially the uh, the skips. They've uh, been uh, some very good conversions played. Well, one thing I think I've noticed too, though, uh, Tim, and I think you might agree, is that the players. Their consistency has really started to shine through once the green went into full cover. Instead of having you know, one section where the sun's still hitting, it's a bit faster than the section where the shadows start coming. And that's what happens a bit on this green. It's a magnificent green to play on. I've played here plenty of times. And, uh, but this time of the afternoon, it, it can be very, very hard to play on. Yeah, well, you've got, you've got the best in the world too. So, uh, you know, they're... Uh 
if anyone's going to be able to uh, to adjust and play on that, yeah. you know, uh, surface that's with a with the wind that's uh, you know swirling around, uh, these are the guys uh, to do that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, they're the uh, they're the top two teams in this uh, in this group. Uh, if uh, I think Scotland are the on top, but. Uh, uh, Wales are the are the second side, so uh, depending on the result, uh, Wales are emerge victorious. They could jump yeah. over Scotland, and if Scotland uh, finish on the right side, then they'll uh, get a bit of a break on this uh, this section. Well, it's uh, I said it's really been a a game of nothing. Take this has been just they're just both teams are just chewing away. A bit of frustration with the Scottish team early, and the Wales really capitalised on it and. Now you can see Wales are just a little bit under the hammer and Scotland seem to be handling the conditions just slightly better. It's, it's a tale of two games, really, isn't it? It it's, is. It's just reversed. Just reversed. So, uh, you uh, think, you're, uh, think you've got control and, uh, and Alex comes along and plays <laughs> a screamer and, uh, uh, well. and Scotland think they're, uh, they're holding a few and uh, up drops uh, Ross and plays uh, a howler and... Mm. Uh, we're uh, we're really waiting until the last ball comes to an end to understand who's uh, who's going to win the yeah. end and, and how many they're going to get. I mean that one there doesn't count, but that's a very good bowl there from uh, from Derek Oliver there. Just splits those two uh, red bowls at the back. So well, now it's uh, you know the back of one on the on the rink. It'll be uh, it'll be closest to the to the tee if uh, yep. if she goes dead. Uh, this is uh, this yeah. is coming to a good home as well. Yeah, it's just caught the edge of the bowl. Probably still just uh, probably just one down in that front bowl. I'm assuming. G'day, Grant Felberg. G'day, Alex. Once again, g'day, mate. Hey, big Al. Still waiting to get your money on the poker table, pal. <laughs> hey. Hey, great bowl here by Derek. He's not going to be too far away. Comes in there, sitting just about jack eye. So it's really starting to find his uh, his rhythm now. I hope that helped, Margaret. Sorry, I couldn't help you with that one. Uh, we haven't got that information, unfortunately. Uh, we do get a lot of information, but we don't ask the players what clubs they played for. I tell you what, this isn't going to be too far away. If he gets the inside edge of this bowl, oh, he's just going to miss it. I did do a bit of homework before uh, the championship, so I actually yeah. uh, got onto the uh, Bowl Scotland site uh, trying to uh, to get some information like that. Uh, I managed to find it uh, with the uh, Australian players because they're all listed with the, uh, their club uh, yeah. that they're currently with and uh, their types of bowls and uh, when they started. Scotland site uh, indicated when uh, the, they'd first represented the country, how long they'd uh, played for, yeah. and the type of bowls that they have, and their uh, bowling highlights, but uh, didn't indicate the, the clubs that they were currently representing. Sending. Tell you what, Alex has played this well, I'm happy he sits these two. That's well, a great he's just going to land in, uh, in, a, yeah. in a real good <laughs> spot, spot there. there. Yeah. G'day, Sam, how are you, mate? Yeah, it's good to catch up with you the other day, too, buddy, at Mackenzie Park. Always good to see you, Sam. Hope you're keeping well and enjoying your bowls, buddy. I know you're enjoying your bowls. I know that for a fact, as you always do. Okay, now there's a bit of extra pressure on Ross here. All the way through the event, he's really, uh, he's really relished it and played some colossal conversion shots from under the hammer. Well, look, the red's looking a bit lonely in there uh, well, near the uh, with the jack, but uh, he's not going to not going to reach it with this one, mate. See, that was just coming across the head slightly. Thanks, John, for that. So just letting the viewers know where they play from. It's fantastic. It looks, at, uh, looks like Paul's uh, suntan, mate. I think he's been out here for a while, though, John. He's uh, he's looking more like an Aussie every day. Well, I think you look at both <laughs> Alex and, uh, and Paul. Yeah. They're uh, definitely... Uh, hey. Yeah, intimidating the Aussies, they Aussies. Don't, don't have that pale look at all. And of course, I don't think I've ever seen either of the two of them with a hat on uh, <laughs> uh, playing out here in Australia. Yep.
Uh, Alex is uh, looking to, to get round the back here, I think. Uh, yeah, he is too, mate. It's, uh, he's trying to get the, the back of Spole, and I think he's uh, pretty much succeeded there by the reaction from his teammates. Yep, yep. Yeah, there's Robbie pointing out he, uh, he he does have the back of Spole. Yes, he definitely does. It's a good shot by Robbie. A big bowl here. I reckon he's probably three down, Ross. Now he's got a great grass line on this one here. Comes down to his weight. He's got to sneak. He's in got to get under this uh, under this bowl. He's going to run into it. He's going to knock him. Unfortunately. Him oh, that's going to hurt. G'day, Staggers. How are you? There's uh, Harlan watching from the Philippines. Another another number for uh, for Scotland. Uh, Twelve ends in now. Hey, good on you, Margaret. It's a pleasure. We do try to help Margaret. <laughs> we don't know everything, but we our viewers are absolutely fantastic, and they'll always always let us know what we don't know. So don't be afraid to ask any questions. We're yeah. only too happy to answer. Another four uh, to Scotland. So. Yeah. Uh, Really now turned enjoy a five-shot lead. Really turned around, though, Tim, hasn't it? Uh, it's really, uh, it's really turned around this whole uh, game. Right, Alex. Okay, Paul with his first bowl. He's going to have to run this out. Still, uh, still coming. It's probably about a metre. Yep. Fantastic line. Absolutely. Got a good line on this one here too, Owen. I think he's got a little bit more run than uh, than Paul. Paul. Yeah, he definitely uh, has. Just going to shave across. Oh. Uh, Underneath, thought he could have had the kitty there, but he just missed it. So and, uh, yeah. it's uh, up and down for shot. So Paul basically just needs to beat his own to yep. uh, to get the figure. And uh, he is going to uh, sneak past. Got a little <laughs> bit of a feather. He got a little bit of help with that one. Little bit of help. Uh, good correction from Paul. He corrected his weight. Hey, Stephen, watching from Manila in the Philippines. Good on you, mate. Well, the Philippines are playing just a couple of rinks away, mate. You can probably see them over there on the right-hand side of the screen. They're two rinks down. Yes, good attempt there by Alan. No, still advantage there to Paul, though, with that uh, jack eye bowl. Um, well, they're playing now, um, as I said, mate. They're just, um, they're basically just two Snuck rinks away the by the looks of them. Oh, sorry, they're one rink away. I think they're on the rink next door, aren't they? And the Philippines are two rinks away. And they're just going to cut right across the head with this one here. Jimmy Del Rimple, good day, mate. Yeah, they're two across. Two across the Philippines. Yeah, playing against uh, Cook Islands, I think. Yes, yeah, so it looks that way, uh, Tim. So, uh, Derek's just going to slide uh, again uh, to yep. the back. So, uh, Scotland have uh, have the shot and the, and the best back. Yep. And uh, Christopher's uh, on a good line. If he can run this uh, out. He has got the uh, weight, I think he's... Uh, Again, uh, just a little short. Yeah. Just falling away a little bit here in their uh, consistency, Wales. Uh, well, it's Scotland it have uh, just uh, got it uh, just over the top of them at, uh, at present. But uh, five shots with five ends is uh, by no means uh, over the line. And the way that uh, Ross Owen has played, uh, uh, they're certainly not out of it. 
Uh, Alex has given himself plenty of room here. Played and, this very uh, well. Watch this uh, come by all the way home. Yep. A pretty good shot, uh, 18 inches from uh, from the jack. Hey, good on you, Stevie. How are you, mate? So we see Ross just want to comes wants to come around this front bowl. I tell you what, he's on a nice line for this. His weight's looking pretty reasonable too. Not going to be too far away. Well, there you go. What a great bowl. Oh, well, may have just run on slightly. Always having a good hard look at that. Yeah. Well, mate, any movement on that front blue bowl should... Um, yeah, to just touch that bowl of foot, you know. Well, that's uh, out in a similar sort of paddock, I think, that he was before. And watch this... Uh, Start working now. Start working all the way back now. This is uh, Great a pretty bowl. good bowl by the... The master. The master, Alex. Alex Marshall, come on down. What a great bowl that was. Yeah, very privileged yeah. to be uh, able to, to watch a quality game like this with uh, quality players from, uh, from both sides. So uh, Ross has the uh, opportunity. He's out in the... That similar field that uh, Alex was in. Is he uh, going to get all the way back, is he? Not uh, quite. Just running on. He, he yep. got back, but uh, had a bit of a run on there. Yep. Yeah, it was a great bowl, Arlen, wasn't it? Well, just the one by the looks of it. Are they going to measure for two? Really been a game in two... Two halves. They're waiting for this one to fall. Well, I think they've called an umpire, actually. Yeah. Because they're, they're looking to chock it. They have chocked it. No point. <laughs> no point. No point. Chocolate with some uh, with a with a silicone liquid chalk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with liquid chalk. So okay. Yeah, it's been a very good comeback, Laura. They've played uh, exceptionally well. Scotland's really, uh, really fought back exceptionally well in this game. That one there, I don't think it's going to be in. Nope. This one here's got the opportunity, I reckon. Going back to have a look at the red, I think. Uh, Be the red. I guess is it's the red. Yep. And it is. So it's it is. Uh, one to Scotland. Yep. Move on to uh, 15. Uh, yep. After uh, 15 to 9, after uh, 14 ends, I believe. 14 ends, or 39 minutes remaining in this game. So. With four ends to play. Yep. 39 minutes, so it should be very interesting. Six shots, uh, the difference. So uh, oh. I'd suggest that uh, Wales would be uh, very keen to put a multiple on the on the on the scoreboard this end. Yep. And certainly uh, to turn their side of the scoreboard and uh, uh, not have Scotland uh, advance theirs. Yep. So that uh, make it uh, quite difficult with not a very good start. There's. Uh, Paul coming to the uh, couple of feet in behind the head. Very good start, okay, Ben. Just hanging out there a bit. Uh, Going to get all the way back. Yeah. Good weight. Handy home there. Hey, Paul, just look for a little bit more grass. So, see, uh, uh, pretty good weight that uh, just hung out there a bit, yep. I think. Hung out there on him. Hey, Dino. 
Okay, once again, Owen, he's got a beautiful line on this one here. Doesn't well, want too much of the kitty. That's a pretty oh. good bowl. He's just not going to get rewarded for, for it. it yeah. Just got too much of the kitty there. Well, Alex is uh, wanting Derek to play up on the on the forehand as well. He again's out in that uh, that wide field and watch it uh, come home. Come home now. That's a great ball. That, uh, that goes pretty close to, uh, over. to counting as well. Yeah, that's definitely in, mate. It's probably the shot by the looks of that. But it gives them something to rest on now, doesn't it? You know, they've just got to play up to it now. Yep. Uh, naught for short. Yep. That last ball turned in from, uh, from out do. there. This will turn. Uh, just, just got a little a bit too much. Just runny. A bit too much weight. Going to a good home, but Good home. What Alex was in, was basically indicating then was uh, do anything but don't be short. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice way of saying it. Oh, I think he's got his wish because he's not going to be short. Yeah, that's a good ball there. And they now have the have the backest as well, well so it yeah. uh, limits the options. Uh, just needing a, a dead draw there. Yep. What's this come home? Yeah, this is very, very close. What a great ball. Oh. Yeah, pretty good camera work from our uh, expert there, Robbie. Yes, mate. Bruce and I have taught him that over the years. <laughs> it's been a long battle with Bruce and I teaching him, but he's finally getting there. Bruce is shaking his head going, you got that right, Brian. <laughs> okay, Alex looking to... I don't know, it's... He may play this on the backhand and try and set this red bowl, but I think he prefer the wider hand of the two. Sometimes it's just the better hand to play, though, isn't it? You know, it's well, they've been, they've been throwing it out there, and they, yep. but all four of those bowls that have come back, they've uh, just finished off superbly. Uh. Uh. Well, he wants to stay off that one. Well, that's made it a little bit harder now for him at... That one, I don't know. Can we get a side on you of that one, uh, Robbie? A yeah, bit hard to tell. It maybe. No, we've lost the no, lost, lost no, the monkey just, in the middle of that. Just in front of that one there, in front of the red one. He's probably only the one. I don't think that. Yeah, I think that blue bowl there will be in. Alex may have to change his hand depending what Ross does with this bowl. If he plays his backhand onto that blue bowl, he could make a couple out of that. It depends what Ross does with this one. Uh, he may do it He's for going to hit Alex's bowl. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's the shot I think Alex was going to play. So, that's uh, that's what Derek's uh, giving him that uh, that call there. Yep. And uh, that's what he's going to do. Right, he's looking for that blue bowl in the middle. Well, he could work, could work, off. Off the, work off this red one. And he got it. That's a great bowl. Gee whiz. He played that absolutely magnificently, didn't he? Yep. Boys all uh, quick to uh, press the flesh. Yep. Now Scotland do have the backest, I believe. He can't go big at it, really. It's uh, something that he has to be very conscious of the fact of. But, um, and like getting to very much to the business end, he's, he, they really need shots now. Uh, Gary, uh, I'm not too sure, mate. You have to go on Bowls Australia or... Uh, Probably, well, probably Bowls Australia website, mate. They do have a... Uh, Scotland do have the two best back. Yeah, they do have a website there for clothing and that there, mate, somewhere. So I'd suggest that you try that, my friend. Uh, definitely one shot. So he's uh, he's got to play up here looking for his own. And he's got the shot. Yeah, he so, played that uh, very well. That's uh, 
a very big bowl in the in the scheme of things to uh, ensure that's actually two that they've pulled out. They, uh, measuring for three. They get the third one. That is a, a major effort. Pretty close, too. I think it is. Oh, mate, just missing. Just the two. I'll go back and look at it again, I think. Yep. There might be an umpire job here. That's what they are. When in doubt. interesting that the uh, umpire's got exactly the same type of measure. So. measure. Yes. And obviously he wears tailor shoes by the looks of it. Rough guess. Yeah. <laughs> G'day Johnny Green. Yeah, you, see uh, you and your lovely are over there on holiday mate. You enjoy buddy. In the Greek islands. Yeah, good on you. Enjoy my friend. Tell Go you back to the, to the red one. Back to the red. Looked like a solid touch on the blue. Yeah, uh, it was blue. the yeah, blue. It was so the blue. Uh, it's uh, yep. two only. Yep. Uh, Fifteen ends done, and uh, thirty-one minutes to go in the game. So I assume they're going to get that well and truly in. Eleven to uh, eleven to fifteen. Anyone's game. We're really into the business end of the proceedings now. Very much into the business end. So. Okay. Uh, lengthen it out just a little bit. On your mic. Martin Davies says, come on, Wales. Well, they're in the game there, uh, Martin, that's for sure. Not a bad starter here. Just going to sneak in behind the, the head. Just a little on the runny side, but yep, uh, a great start. Great starter. Great starter. Okay, Paul. He's going to sit inside that. He's just going to sneak around the back also. Not too far away. Yeah, it was a great shot, Wayne, wasn't it? That's for sure. Okay, Owen with his next one. We just got to run this out. Yeah, he's going to sit. Oh, just missed it. Good bowl there, though. Yeah, it's a good home. Yep. Opportunity now for uh, for Paul to correct. He's, he's uh, a lot closer. He's on a good line here. It's just down out to his weight. Does he? Just going to stop there. Yeah, that's uh, that is the shot. A good response there from uh, from Paul. Chris is uh, coming up on the on the forehand. Yep. I'm not quite sure that he's. Uh, no, I think oh, he's there. there. He has. That's uh, that's held that that line pretty well there. That's is a great shot. And uh, two that's shots. got the reward, two shots. So, getting uh, Derek to draw up there, looking to uh, flop off that uh, that bowl at uh, at three o'clock. He's going to be pretty close. Uh, Set this bowl. Very, very Get close. better and better. Just like that. What a bowl. Look, uh, that's exactly the <laughs> shot he was asked to yeah. play. And, uh, he played it. Alex has got both hands up there, giving him yeah. the uh, the accord that yep. uh, that he's due after such a great shot. Absolutely. Played it magnificently. Yeah. 
playing with mm. a bit of weight here. He's going he to may uh, get it off. No, going to end up taking the. Yeah. Well, actually, he's probably taken both of the back yeah. uh, bowls for Wales, and why that blue turn? I'd suggest the blue is still yeah. on the playing surface to give them uh, best back. Yep. Which all, well, Alex is picking up things here. Maybe I a bit uh, a bit early in the in the call there. So <laughs> Rob, you'll be able to turn the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Did stay on as the as the best back. Well, coming around now, just another covering bowl here, just around the back. Staying that side of the line is pretty reasonable because if he plays through any contact with that blue, the blue's got the opportunity of making contact with the kitty. And why it's pointed at the moment, if it's hit probably, that's probably where the kitty probably where the, the kitty would end up. On that side of the line, so it's uh it's a pretty difficult shot that uh Ross has got to play yeah. here. Because uh just about everything behind is uh is Scotland. Mm. Any sort of contact uh, less than square on that uh, on that blue bowl is going to squirt the jack out uh, mm. to the Scottish bowls. But, uh, he's a bit runny here, and uh, yeah, a bit quick. That sort of weight is uh, going to be in the ditch unless mm. he's hit something, and uh, that's where he's gone. Interesting weight he played there, though, Tim. I couldn't work out what he was actually. Playing for there, mate. No, well, maybe he missed the. Maybe he was playing at the mm. at the bowl and just missed his line. Okay, Alex. I think you like to keep one just this side of the line once again. Yeah. Well, the thing is, he's uh, another one behind, so uh, great bowl. He will have last bowl and. Uh, have the opportunity of, uh, as it says, picking up a number if he would uh, mm. hit that uh, Welsh ball with the with the chalk. Well, a bit short, this yeah. will be interesting. Uh, uh, he's going to take the one, mate. <laughs> He's going to take the one and run. Wiley head. Yep. Well, we have uh, two ends to play. Uh, Wales are 11, Scotland 16, five the diff. Mm. Two ends to play. As Tim just said, so really into the business end now. Yeah, very important here uh, that uh, Paul can uh, can drop one straight on and uh, just applies the pressure. Uh, haven't been uh, too many big counts. Uh, I think uh, probably two fours, I think, uh, were the, the biggest counts we've had so far. I think uh, both of them went to Scotland. Oh, there's a good start from, uh, from Paul. He's... Uh, a metre or so pass right on the yep. on the centre line. Yeah, good looking, uh, good looking bowl coming in here from uh, Owen. Yeah, just gonna just run through the head, but very handy location, that's for sure. Well, uh, Paul can just uh, drop a metre or so on uh, on his first. Yep. And, uh, Drop another one into the count. This will uh, this will come uh, quite a way back in. Just uh, how much weight he's got. The weight was good, but uh, just a little on the wayward side. 
Yeah, that one's uh, down a fair track again. He and, is uh, too. His weight looking a bit better too, though, Tim. It is. It's uh, great bowl. Going to be close there to getting the shot this time. That's a great bowl. He just uh, slid past. And Derek uh, come down that same hand. But, uh, should now start to uh, work in underneath uh, Paul's bowl. Yeah, great bowl there. Uh, come to uh, to a good home. Hocked in a very good second shot there, uh, Tim. So basically what they're after, they're going to lose anything on the second last end. You yeah. only want it to be one. That's correct. Fair looking bowl here from Chris. He doesn't want to cut it. Really. A good, uh, Maybe a, a change good of hand here. May have played the backhand, sit that bowl, I reckon. Yeah. Or well, see what Alex is looking for. He's looking just to split those bowls. Uh, good call by Alex already. Well, he's got a, an each way bet. So yeah. Come up there and split those, uh, don't split those bowls, or, or turn in under the under the shot bowl. Came right back on the line about the one place well, that he did want to be. Opportunity here for Chris. Uh, any sort of movement here is uh, going to put the pressure right back on. Uh, yep. On Scotland, and uh, this is uh, going to find its way back to the centre line. There's another Cashman pole there. They can get it over there. Well, now it sits, uh, it, you know, movement to the to the left of the jack is uh, going to give Scotland a number. And conversely, uh, if it's still there for the, the next pole, then Ross will have the same option. Big bowl here from Alex. He's two choices. He covers this or he trails a kitty to the left-hand side. I think he's going for the cover. I think it could be a bit too wide, though. So it's still open. So, g'day, Corey. How are you, mate? So it's still wide open here like this. Could be a game changer. He's got four bowls sitting there waiting for it. And he's just looking for a little trail. The beauty is he's going to have two goes at it. Yes. G'day, Blakey. Tell you what, he's in the air. If you, you're just this is where it's it's on the duck no, now. It's on the duck, yeah. It's going to make it a little bit harder. This is uh, probably the most pivotal bowl of the match at, uh, at this stage. It's I actually thought Alex with his first bowl should have tried to, to trail out the left-hand side to take that shot away from him, uh, Tim, you know what I mean? I, uh, I concur. I, I was a bit surprised to see. Mm. But uh, he's the master. Oh. That's why we're sitting here commentating. Yeah, mate. But got to remember, mate. He knows better than us. He's got the same last name as me, though, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but you've been at pains to say you're not related. <laughs> Tell you what, this is He's a played a bomb, bomb here. An absolute bomb. What a great bowl. Alex Marshall. That is a brilliant bowl. And uh, yeah. and, and where he's landed there, there. too, that, uh, that's, you know... Made it very locked hard. It, locked it in. You, you know, to get uh, the result, he's uh, he's going to need to, you know, slice that across or... Well, even then, if he, if he gets too much of it, too, it could go back... And he could be down too, though, uh, Tim, couldn't he? You know what I mean? It just depends on uh, on what way the kitty goes. But uh, it's very hard to say to get the kitty now to where he had to get it. To. If he if he plays on to uh, to Alex's bowl, he's, uh, he, he doesn't have third shot, I, I no. don't think. I think, uh, I think Scotland have the, the third, third shot. shot. Yes, mate, they have. But, uh, let's see, he's... Uh, he's been uh, able to uh, play some uh, really good oh, conversions. Absolutely, Timmy. But uh, he's gone for the for the big whack, and he he's went missed for the, a lot. He went for the. He actually went for that outside edge. Yeah. 
So <laughs> uh, for a marshal, one to Scotland. Uh, we're now on uh, seventeen to eleven with uh, one end to uh, to play, and we've still got eighteen minutes of time. Uh, six of the difference. So uh, that the very best that uh, that Wales can do is uh, is a draw. If, uh, that was that was a great bowl by Alex, though, wasn't it? That was you know. That well, was you look at the difference that it's yeah. made. That uh, yeah. it could have very well been playing this end. Uh, and had Wales in front, had they yeah. managed to move that jack. And uh, with Alex drawing that shot, that it, uh, it gave them no option to uh, to get that number, mm. uh, or very little option. And Paul, with his first bowl, is going to be very close here, uh, Tim. Well, that's what you like to see. So uh, That's a great bowl need, there. Need, needing six for a draw, and your lead drops one on, uh, right on within <laughs> six inches. <Yep. laughs> Pretty handy, mate. What a great game we've had here. Yeah, mate, they've played pretty well, Ryan, haven't they? Yeah, Margot says, shot Alex. And look at this for a reply. What a great bowl there by Owen from... Uh, from Wales. Gee, we should get much better than that. Well, uh, Scotland are just going to surround it now. As, uh, okay, Owen. How good the memory. Need something just around the back. Yep. Good call. Good home. Really been a uh, a game of two halves, Tim. It has. Uh, Scotland uh, were a bit scratchy to uh, to start with, but yep. uh, hung in there and a couple of. Uh, Pretty good uh, bowls from uh, from Alex. Managed to turn the uh, turn the tide a bit. Yep. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> yeah, Kathy Andrews. Just going to sneak around the back of this one here once again too. Finding the uh, the back of the rink here. Mm. Uh, best back. Uh, not much, uh, not much uh, chance here for uh, for a big number. No, no, no. The grass line with every one of those bowls, really, uh, Tim, is just about spot on. You know what I mean? It's uh, pretty well straight up and down the line. But um, just well, we're we'll waiting one to Wales at this stage. And as you're fully aware, one, as you said, mate, it's not enough. So um, really, as you see the shot there up on the top um, left-hand side of the screen. Now, if Alex happened to crack it, an egg on that front bowl, it would probably go to, to Scotland. I tell you what, he's not far away with this one. Not far away at all. Well, Just crack, crack an egg. That's crack. Bang. <laughs> One bowl to Scotland. One to Scotland. That's a great bowl. That's incredible weight control there, Tim. Well, uh, he's been doing it for uh, for a hell of a long time. Yes. Doesn't show any signs of uh, slowing down no. either. No. And look at this for a reply too, just quietly. He's going to... Run off the front one and pick it up. Well, that's that's a great bowl once again. Yeah, it's good call there. There's a bit of danger there, that's for sure. I think the uh, 
I think the bowl at um, three o'clock is uh, protecting the, it from the from a really big number, mm. and this will uh, this will do even better. It'll block it off uh, even further. A very good bowl there by Alex. Probably wanted it a little bit wider though, uh, Tim. Probably didn't want to want to come all the way back to the line. John, it's it's grass, mate. Yeah, it's called Tiftorf. It's a strain of cooch. Something that goes mostly all the way through the east coast of Australia. Most bowling clubs, if they haven't got synthetic, it's uh, well, there's four greens here and they're all grass. They're all tiff. We had a bit of rain last night. But, uh, tiff slows down around about half past three, quarter to four most days. And this green here goes into... Um, Goes into shade uh, around about uh, that time, so uh, very overcast here now and getting a little bit cool. See most of the players, except for the Wales and the Scotland, are using no, uh, jumpers. Yeah, he's got seven up there, I know. Seven instead of 17. Doesn't matter. We know it's the seven if We know this is the last end. That's wants to stay off this bowl. No, he's not uh, not done that. And that's two to Scotland. It up and uh, gives uh, Scotland two. a few there. Uh, well, a great game and congratulations two. to both teams. But, uh, mate, absolutely uh, fantastic. It was a crack of a game. Wales won the pairs. Thanks, Mike. Mike Watts. So a very calculated win by... Uh, by Scotland, uh, ably led by uh, Alex, and well played not only to Alex but to Paul as well as uh, as Derek. They ground their way back into the game and uh, fought their way back. So very good effort, but great effort by Wales also too. So uh, well done, go on you, Blakey. Look after yourself, mate. Thank you, Margaret, for those kind words. Yeah, it was a good win. They played well. Um, good, Owen. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Gold Coast Tweed District Media Team, we have to go through our wonderful sponsors, who sh why we can showcase this wonderful event. We thank the 2023 World Bowl Championships Value Partners, whose support and contributions have ultimately allowed the staging of this renowned event. In particular, we would like to make special mention and acknowledgement of Tourism and Events Queensland, Major Events Gold Coast, Australian Sports Commission, the Australian Institute of Sport, Commonwealth Games, Australia, Right at Home, Arpia, Henselite, Drinkwise, Greeks, to you, Mac, Mac Max, and Audica. They're the wonderful sponsors of this uh, wonderful event, and we'd like to thank them for their generosity of uh, helping stage this absolutely outstanding event for five venues around the Gold Coast and you can check everything out on um, Bowls Link, all of the results and there tomorrow we have first up Australia versus Malaysia we have the right hand we do Wales versus England Thailand versus Hong Kong China and then North Folk, Ireland versus Nambia. 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 So that's our uh, screening for tomorrow on air at um, 8.30 in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. So on behalf of Robbie Allen, our fearless leader, and on behalf of myself, Brian Marshall, Bruce Kirk and Tim Phillips, we wish you a very good evening. We hope to have you back on air in the morning. We've got three cracking games again tomorrow. Enjoy your bowls and support your club. Thank you very much.